All right, everybody, welcome back. It's about a week later. Got to get the tires off this Falcon so that we can roll this bad boy around. So follow along. Gonna unstrap this bad boy so we can jack it up. guys so we're gonna go get some tires like I said just so I can roll the car around um, maybe stop by my dad's shop and drop off some trash that I have so you know it's winter time and I always tell myself I'm gonna get up early it's like 12 o'clock uh, I work nights so it's already hard for me to get up early but something about the winter I just can't or don't want to get up early when it's cold and go screw with stuff. Now, once I'm screwing with stuff and it starts to get cold, I'm usually okay, but it's that initial get going that, mm, call me lazy, I guess. Stopped by my dad's shop to throw stuff away. And got tires, which you can't see through the mirror. We're ready to go put these bad boys back on. I gotta grab something from this fine establishment here. China shit, you know? Got them back. Now I gotta get them back on. Even though this thing's a beater. Still gonna put black paint on them. Cause I'm weird like that. OCD, I guess. Let's get this shit back on.
Here we go. Let's see how much rust this motherfucker's got. Not too bad so far. I see one patch panel. Two patch panels. No, one, yeah, two. Right here. Another one right there. Let's keep going. So far, those are the only two I see. That's it. Those are the only two patch panels I see. I mean, she needs to be blasted, but. That bad. I mean, the seam is pretty decent here. I've seen fox bodies with worse seams than this. Look at that. Straight. Over here, passenger. Same deal. Straight. I think she's going to be just fine. A little rust in the door right there. Working on an old car, this is what you need. Get old shit apart. It's called silly coil. Works really well.
got the real teal versus cleater. You know who we're working for. Man, there's nothing sexier than a fucking box body. So everything I take off, because I don't know what all I'm going to use on this car as far as what stuff I might buy new or what stuff just I'm not going to use because we're going to change some stuff up. But everything that I take off, I'm going to put in a box, label it. That way, after this thing gets blasted and we get down the road where we're putting stuff back together, I'll have it all saved instead of just piling it all in one big pile. So like this. the trunk latch but I don't think I'll be using the trunk latch I think we're gonna do a fiberglass deck lid and I'll use some of those nice pins save some save a little bit of weight but just in case I'll have it I'll go ahead and cut these staples off that they use for that trim Cut those bad boys off. cleaned out I can see a patch panel that you can't see on the outside there's one right here S stuff's been reworked right here it was pretty rusty down in here you can see you know like over in this corner there's a hole so it's pretty rusty down in here that this one right here is a drain it wasn't doing nothing this was all full of dirt so it just sat here and rotted so the only way we'll be able to tell is once it's sandblasted how bad this is i know they make these rear lower quarters because these things just rot out but you know what do you do down in here don't look too bad you can see all the way up to the door pillar don't look too bad. So. Alright, now we're going to go to the front of the car and I'm going to take the front fenders off, the grill. Probably not using these. Probably going to go fiberglass to save weight. So I just want to get this stuff off and see if there's anything hidden underneath here. And then uh, maybe this weekend, I don't know, we'll see what my dad's doing, but I want to get all the stainless off. My concern is that there could be rust spots hiding where you can't see them, uh, given how much rust we have in the back. So I want to get as much off of this car as I can to see, you know, like if water sat underneath this fender, then it could just be, I could pick this fender up and it could be a big rust hole. So I'm hoping that it's not, you know, I don't want to get 
a real crazy and doing a bunch of uh, patch panels, but uh, you know, let's get stuff off and see what happens. See what we got. guys that'll do it for this part of the video everything seems to look good I don't see near as much rust issues as I do in the back um, that all kind of looks pretty good I mean the plan is to front half this thing uh, but if I you know if technically we could cut it like right here and I could have something made for the front but I don't see uh, any major rust issues up here, just in the back. So, knock on wood, we might be, we might be all right. Might be in the clear. But, we'll catch you guys next time.